Okay, let's get back to it. We'll start with some general tips, and then we'll dig into how you're having the actual conversation. Tip number one, make sure you're talking to persuadable people. Now, that's hard to know, but if you're part of a program that's doing this well, then your team will have identified folks potentially open to being persuaded one way or another. And those are the doors you're gonna be knocking on. Sometimes you'll find a voter who's got a really strong opinion developed already. That's okay. Just move on to the next door, because remember your goal is to talk to persuadable voters. Tip number two, remember that effective persuasion conversations are about listening. It's not about arguing your facts or saying every word on your script. That means asking questions like, what issues matter to you most, or what do you think? Tip number three, build a relationship. I know it's difficult in a short time, and it's very important to be real. So the shortcut here is to use a tactic I call, as someone who. Use it, and you kind of force yourself to relate. Yes, I understand that, as someone who works as a teacher, and remember, it does not need to be extreme, it just needs to be you. Tip number four, you're not gonna persuade someone in 30 seconds on the door. That's okay, because it's not your goal. It's to make a dent and help the person start to see it this way. Because remember, you literally cannot persuade someone. They're gonna persuade themselves, and that takes time. Fortunately, your conversation isn't our only shot. It's part of a broader program where the campaign is gonna engage the voter many times. Tip number five, data, data, data. Other volunteers are gonna be knocking on doors too. And you'll help others just like yourself if you record the information on the walk sheet that you're provided. If you don't do it, the program will likely need to repeat your work. Now, let's overview the actual conversation at the door. 